Imagine your body as a massive factory that never shuts down, every organ on the night shift, every cell chugging caffeine just to stay awake. Now picture this, you hit the power switch. No food, no snacks, just silence. Within 24 hours, your liver starts raiding the sugar shells, and by day three, it's burning fat like a desperate intern looking for approval. Scientists at Harvard discovered that a 72-hour fast flips more than 3,000 genetic switches linked to repair and longevity. Basically, your body goes full Tony Stark in self-maintenance mode. But here's the catch. The same system that rebuilds you can also crash if you don't know what's coming. So before you decide to skip breakfast for a week, let's take a look inside, because what happens next might just shock you and your metabolism. Your organs don't scream when they're exhausted, they whisper. A little extra sugar here, a late night snack there, and over time your body becomes a diner that never closes, burning through energy until the kitchen starts to smoke. Doctors call it metabolic fatigue, the quiet chaos behind weight gain, inflammation, and brain fog. But when you stop eating, you give your organs the one thing they never get in modern life, silence. And in that silence, your organs do something miraculous. They heal. What happens inside you during those seven days is not just biology, it's rebirth. Day 1-2. to two, The Sugar Shutdown when the power grid fails. The first two days of fasting are like cutting the power to a city that's been running on sugar for decades. Every light flickers, every machine protests, and your brain, the mayor of this city, starts panicking. That's because your body has relied on glucose as its main source of energy for your entire life. When you stop eating, your blood sugar drops within hours and your liver, your biochemical bank, starts withdrawing its emergency savings, glycogen. But here's the catch. That account runs dry fast. Within 24 to 36 hours, glycogen stores are gone and insulin, the storage hormone, takes a vacation. That's when glucagon, its opposite twin, steps up and says, All right, folks, time to burn some fat. According to a 2022 study in Cell Metabolism, this hormonal pivot signals the body's first real adaptation to fasting, a metabolic shift as old as humanity. Our ancestors didn't eat three meals a day. Sometimes they didn't eat for days at all. Fasting, in many ways, is not deprivation. It's a genetic memory. Physically, though, you'll feel weird. Hunger comes in dramatic waves like a toddler demanding snacks, and your energy might crash. You may feel irritable, dizzy, or question every life choice that led you to this moment. That's normal. Your body is still searching the pantry before realizing the door is locked. But by the end of day two, your system begins its quiet rebellion. Insulin levels drop even lower, fat cells open their vaults, and triglycerides begin breaking down into free fatty acids. You've officially flipped the metabolic switch. It's uncomfortable, but it's progress. Think of it as rebooting a computer. First the blackout, then the restart. Then the magic. Day three to four, the metabolic switch fueling on fat. By the third day, the chaos fades, something clicks, hunger decreases, energy stabilizes, and your brain suddenly feels sharper, as if someone just upgraded your operating system overnight. What's happening? Your body has entered ketosis, a metabolic state where your liver transforms fat into molecules called ketones, your new high-octane brain fuel. Instead of sugar spikes and crashes, your energy becomes steady, quiet, and surprisingly calm. Researchers at Nature Communications 2023 observed that after 72 hours of fasting, over 3,000 proteins involved in cell repair, inflammation control, and longevity pathways are reprogrammed. Translation, your body stops just surviving, it starts optimizing. Even your brain joins the renovation crew. Ketones increase the production of BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a growth factor that helps neurons repair and connect. It's the biological equivalent of upgrading your Wi-Fi speed. Suddenly, thoughts travel faster, focus deepens, and your inner chatter quiets. 
People who've done multi-day fasts often report something spiritual around this stage, a strange peace, a sense of mental clarity. That's not imagination, it's neurochemistry. Dopamine sensitivity increases, cortisol stabilizes, and your nervous system finds a rare moment of balance. You'll also notice your body odor changing. Yup, real talk. Your breath might smell a bit fruity. That's acetone, one of the ketones being expelled. It's the scent of fat literally burning away. Consider it your new perfume. Oh, de metabolic freedom. By day four, your body is officially running on stored fuel. The hunger is still there, but it's quieter, like a background radio you've learned to tune out. Your organs, for the first time in years, are finally resting from the endless digestion assembly line. A day five to six, the deep clean, when your body becomes its own janitor. By day five, you're no longer just fasting, you're remodeling. Your cells begin a process called autophagy, meaning self-eating. It sounds brutal, but it's pure genius. Your body identifies old, weak, or malfunctioning cells and breaks them down for spare parts, recycling them into newer, stronger versions. Imagine your body as a factory that finally shut down long enough to sweep the floors, fix the leaks, and toss out the broken tools. According to research from the University of Southern California, prolonged fasting activates stem cell regeneration in both the gut and immune system. In other words, your body's taking out the trash and ordering new supplies. Your immune cells, the defenders of your system, also get a reset. Old, overworked ones die off, and new, more efficient ones take their place. This may explain why people report reduced inflammation, better skin, and even improved allergy symptoms after fasting. A 2021 study from the Journal of Translational Medicine showed that fasting increased antioxidant enzymes and reduced oxidative stress. That's scientists speak for, your cells stop rusting. <laughs> Around this time, your sense of taste and smell may sharpen, you may feel calm reflective, even emotional. That's because your body is literally detoxing, not in the marketing sense, but at a cellular level. Damaged mitochondria, your cells' powerhouses, are recycled, and your organs synchronize like instruments in a newly tuned orchestra. There's a strange lightness, almost euphoric. It's your biology whispering, we remember this. Still, caution matters. Electrolyte depletion is common. Sodium, potassium, and magnesium levels can dip. This is why proper hydration or mineral water is crucial. Fasting isn't a game of starvation. It's a dance of precision. But if done right, these two days are where deep healing happens. The body's version of pressing optimize all systems. Day 7. The Adaptation Summit. Efficiency over everything. By the seventh day, your body has fully adapted to running on stored energy. Fat oxidation is at its peak. Your metabolism is no longer panicked. It's proud. Human growth hormone, HGH, surges dramatically. Studies from Osaka University show levels can rise by up to 1,300% during a seven-day fast. This hormone protects muscle mass, promotes tissue repair, and boosts metabolism long after you start eating again. Your blood sugar stabilizes, inflammation markers drop to record lows, and insulin sensitivity skyrockets, meaning your body uses food more efficiently once you reintroduce it. You might feel oddly serene, almost detached. That's evolution talking. In times of food scarcity, the body quiets hunger so the mind can focus on survival. Clarity replaces craving. But this is also your edge of fragility. Electrolyte balance is delicate, and pushing beyond a week can risk dizziness, low blood pressure, or fainting. Listen to your body. It's whispering wisdom, not weakness. By now, your system has completed a full cycle, from chaos to control, from noise to silence. You've burned fat, recycled cells, boosted immunity, and reset your metabolic rhythm. This is not magic. It's molecular engineering, ancient, intelligent, and waiting for you all along. Reface face, breaking the fast, waking the sleeping giant. Ending a seven-day fast is like reawakening a sleeping dragon, gentle, slow, respectful. 
Your digestive system has been on vacation and suddenly asking it to process a cheeseburger is like waking someone from a coma with a fire alarm. The key is refeeding. Start small, bone broth, light soups, cooked vegetables. This signals your digestive enzymes to clock in again. According to the Journal of Clinical Nutrition, gradual refeeding preserves 80% of the cellular benefits achieved during prolonged fasting. If you rush, you risk refeeding syndrome, a dangerous electrolyte imbalance where your body floods insulin too quickly. But when done properly, this phase feels miraculous. Warmth returns to your hands, your brain buzzes with energy, and your first bite tastes like gratitude. Many people describe emotional moments during refeeding, even tears. After seven days, food stops being a habit and becomes a sacred act. You taste life differently. Biochemically, the refeed phase stabilizes leptin and ghrelin, your hunger hormones, teaching your body new hunger boundaries. Fatigue lessens, digestion feels smoother, and your immune markers stay elevated for days. It's the final chapter in a story of restraint and renewal, a reminder that the body doesn't need constant input to thrive. Sometimes it just needs space to remember how to heal. The big picture, what you gain by giving up. Seven days without food might sound like punishment, but it's actually permission, permission for your body to repair, reset, and remember its original intelligence. Short-term, fasting improves focus, sleep, and mood regulation. Long-term, it reduces inflammation, promotes cellular longevity, balances blood sugar, and even enhances emotional discipline. You learn that hunger isn't the enemy, it's a messenger. That stillness doesn't mean weakness, it means wisdom. And perhaps most importantly, you realize this. Healing doesn't always come from adding something new. Sometimes, it starts when you finally stop feeding the noise. You've just walked through seven days of silence, and somehow your body spoke louder than ever. It showed you what happens when you stop feeding noise and start fueling repair. Your brain cleared. Your organs rebooted. Your cells learned how to breathe again. This isn't starvation. It's strategy. A way to remind your biology who's really in charge. But fasting isn't about proving strength, it's about rediscovering balance. So before you go back to your next meal, pause, thank your body for doing something incredible. Then tell me in the comments, would you ever try a 7-day fast? What scares you most about it? If this helped you see your body differently, hit like, share it with someone curious, and subscribe for the next deep dive. Because healing isn't about doing more. It's about finally letting your body do what it was built to do.